Well, hello, students. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Jay. On today's lesson, I have another read and repeat story that will help you with your English comprehension, vocabulary words, and your English fluency. So we're going to have a great time on today. Let's get ready to dive into today's story. Steve was excited because he was going to visit his family in Detroit. You repeat after me. Steve was excited because he was going to visit his family in Detroit. Great job. Now, when someone is excited, they are enthusiastic. They they are looking forward to it. They're like, I can't wait to get to Detroit. I can't wait to go see my family. I'm going to have a good time. They're they're excited. OK, now to visit means to go see someone. It could be for the first time. It could be for uh, more than the first time. Uh, but when you go visit someone, you stay for a few minutes or for a period of time. So he was going to visit someone in Detroit. Detroit is a major city here in the United States in the city in the state of Michigan. OK, so Detroit, Michigan. Let's continue. He packed his bags, and hopped on a plane to the Motor City. He packed his bags and hopped on a plane to the Motor City. Now, when someone packs a bag, they're getting their suitcase or their luggage and they're putting their clothes, their personal items in the suitcase to take on an airplane. In Steve's case, or if a person was driving, they would put it in the car or on a bus. So you pack your bags. Depending on how long you would stay on a trip would determine the size of your bag. OK, now when someone hops on a plane, notice he packed his bags and hopped on a plane. Now, of course, to hop just simply means to, you know, to skip, to jump. <laughs> but to hop on a plane means to get on a plane. So he went to the airport and he boarded the airplane. And the Motor City is a nickname for the city of Detroit. One of the reasons they call it the Motor City is because Detroit was known and is still known for many of the car manufacturers that are located there, such as Ford, General Motors. And I believe there's there's one more. But uh, back in the 50s and 60s, uh, they were known for mass producing such vehicles and shipping them out throughout the country and and the world. When he arrived, his family welcomed him with open arms. When he arrived, his family welcomed him with open arms. So to arrive means to get to a place. With open arms. That means that someone was happy to see him. Open arms mean that they were coming to hug him. And notice his family welcomed him with open arms. His family welcomed him with open arms. So when he got off the plane, they were probably like, hey, Steve. Oh, man, good to see you, Steve. Oh, baby, what's going on? <laughs> they were happy to see him. Give me a hug, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Give me a hug. 
So they were excited to see Steve and they welcomed him. How you been? Oh, you've grown since the last time I saw you. Wow, you've got a mustache now. You lost your hair. I mean, <laughs> they welcomed him. They greeted him when they saw him. They decided to visit some landmark sites around the city. They decided to visit some landmark sites around the city. So a landmark is a popular destination or location. Okay. It could have historical value. It could be a monument. It could be something that just is simply popular in the community or in the city, a landmark. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think one landmark for New York City is the Statue of Liberty or a landmark could be a building like the New York Empire State Building It's something that when you see it, everyone knows that place because of that destination or that object. That's what a landmark is. First, they went to the famous Detroit Institute of Arts. First, they went to the famous Detroit Institute of Arts. Let's say that together. First, they went to the famous Detroit Institute of Arts. So something that is famous is popular, okay? Something that's famous can be a person, a place, or a thing. There are some famous cars that people like to drive. There are certain famous destinations that people like to go to. Here in the United States, Disney World is a famous vacation destination. If someone wants to gamble, a famous location to go in the United States is Las Vegas. <laughs> okay. Um, a famous strip club in Atlanta <laughs> is it's called Magic City. I mean, it's popular. Okay. A strip club is, is a club where people do just that. They strip. So anything can be famous. It's just widely known. It's popular. An Institute of the Arts. OK, so that is a place that is known for its gallery of or collection of artwork. It could be paintings, drawings, sculptures. Uh, it could be a number of different uh, pieces of art that someone has made. So in Detroit, they have the Detroit Institute of Arts. They have one here in Georgia, in Atlanta. The, they have another Institute of Arts. They pretty much have one in each, each city that you go to, here in the United States at least. Steve marveled at the beautiful paintings and sculptures inside. Steve marveled at the beautiful paintings and sculptures inside. Now you repeat it. Steve marveled at the beautiful paintings and sculptures inside. So when someone marvels, they, they respond to something like, wow, gee whiz. <laughs> okay. When someone marvels, they, they are astonished. Okay. They're shocked. How could someone have made that? Oh, that is beautiful. That is gorgeous. Okay. Their, their breath, as we say, has been taken away. they I have no words. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay. And something that is beautiful. 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's it's appealing to the eyes. It's gorgeous. It's handsome. It's something that is pretty. Okay, a painting and a sculpture. So a painting is something that someone paints. It could be on a canvas, on a piece of paper. It, it could be on um, anything that someone paints on. And then they display it for others to see. And a sculpture is something that someone has made uh, by hand. And it could be anything. Here in my little small town, artists have made sculptures out of scrap metal and so they'll weld them together and make them into different objects whether it be a bench or a person or an animal so a sculpture is something that someone makes out of other materials or raw materials next they headed to the detroit historical museum to learn about the city's past. Next, they headed to the Detroit Historical Museum to learn about the city's past. You say it. Next, they headed to the Detroit Historical Museum to learn about the city's past. Now, when you head somewhere, you go in that direction, okay? Or you're telling someone where you're going. So you may say, I'm headed to the store, okay? I'm headed to school. Or someone may ask you, where are you going? And you say, look, I'm headed to the library, okay? I'm going somewhere. I'm about to do something. I'm headed somewhere, okay? A museum or a historical museum, a historical, historical, historical is something that has to do with history or something that took place in the past. And a museum is a building that houses literature, clothing. Uh, it could be anything that comes from the past. OK, and that's what a historical museum is. They explored exhibits about the auto industry and Motown music. They explored exhibits about the auto industry and Motown music. Let's let's read that together. They explored exhibits about the auto industry and Motown music. So to explore means to simply go on an adventure to find different things out. Okay. To explore, you're going to Find different things out. Uh, an exhibit. Exhibit is a display of something. OK. You may look at a display of books or a display of different types of food or an exhibit of foods. OK. Motown. OK. Motown was a. In Detroit, back in the 50s, uh, let's see, Motown, an upbeat, often pop-influenced style of rhythm and blues associated with the city of Detroit and with numerous black vocalists and vocal groups since the 1950s. So, uh, who was a part of Motown? Let's see here. I believe Michael Jackson, uh, the Jackson Five. Um, more currently, you have Babyface, Erica Badu, Boys to Men, 
So there are a number, the Commodores, yeah, DeBarge. So there are a number of groups that make up the Motown sound. And that is a historical place in Detroit. Actually, I had the opportunity to go to Detroit last year and went to Motown to go through the museum, but they were all booked up. <laughs> so we didn't get to see it. So we just took some pictures and came came back to Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. Steve's favorite part was seeing the vintage cars on display. Steve's favorite part was seeing the vintage cars on display. Say that with me. Steve's favorite part was seeing the vintage cars on display. So a vintage car is a car from, as we would say, back in the day, in the 40s, the 50s, or even the 60s. So it's something that's old. You consider something vintage to be a classic, okay? It's hard to find now, okay? Someone bought it and then they restored it and made it up to date or cleaned it up but it's still a vintage car or a classic car. They also visited the Detroit Science Center where Steve had a blast with hands-on experiments. Let me read that again. They also visited the Detroit Science Center where Steve had a blast with hands-on experiments. Ready? Let's read. They also visited the Detroit Science Center where Steve had a blast with hands-on experiments. Excellent. So when someone has a blast, you can use this word in a number of ways. You can blast off like a rocket. You can blast with a gun or to have a blast means you had a good time, a fun time, an exciting time. Man, we went to the museum and we had a blast. I spent some time with my wife last uh, night and then we went out to lunch. We had a blast. So we had a good time. OK. A hands on experience hands on. So when something is hands on, you're actually personally doing it yourself. So I'm giving you a hands on reading lesson. OK, I'm reading to you. I'm explaining things to you. It's hands on. It's not like I'm just giving you a book and say, hey, do this on your own. No, it, this is this is hands on. I'm taking time, <laughs> OK, to do this. OK, so I'm giving you a personal experience. We're almost done with today's reading assignment. One day they took a stroll along the Detroit Riverwalk, enjoying the scenic views. One day they took a stroll along the Detroit Riverwalk enjoying the scenic views now to take a stroll say that stroll is to take a walk a light walk you're not running you're not jogging you're not in a hurry you're just strolling along <laughs> okay scenic views scenic views a scenic view is when you go on a particular route and it provides a number of things to see. It's a scenic view. OK, so you may go a particular route and you can see certain buildings, uh, certain restaurants, different things, popular places, different landmarks. It's a scenic view. 
they couldn't miss a visit to the iconic Detroit Zoo filled with fascinating animals. They couldn't miss a visit to the iconic Detroit Zoo filled with fascinating, fascinating, fascinating animals. Oh, wow. This one has a lot of keywords in it. So when something is iconic, okay, it's it's something that's worth you experiencing. Okay, it's it's iconic. It's very, very important. Okay, something that is iconic. Okay, it's it's something that has great style, fashion, uh, virtue, and is something that is worth taking time or spending money to see. Okay, when something is fascinating 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 something is captivating okay it's something that grabs your attention you see that tiger and you're fascinated by its beauty or you see the long neck giraffe and you're fascinated at how long the neck is okay or you see the um let's see the bear and you're fascinated, the polar bear. OK, we went to I believe it was Houston. We went to the Houston Zoo and they had tigers there and they were in the cage. They actually had the white tiger and it was just looking at people like it wanted to eat us. <laughs> and so it was very fascinating, very fascinating. And it was just walking around saying, if this glass wasn't in front of us, <laughs> I would probably try to bite your leg. Steve's family surprised him with a visit to the Detroit Bell Isle Aquarium. Steve's family surprised him, surprised him with a visit to the Bell, Detroit Bell Isle Aquarium. They surprised, 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 okay? They did something for him he was not expecting. Now, an aquarium is a building that has fish and aquatic animals there, okay? So you may see exotic animals such as a stingray, dolphins, all of these different types of animals are at an aquarium, the colorful fish and marine life left Steve in awe. The colorful fish and marine life left Steve in awe. Let's repeat that. The colorful fish and marine life left Steve in awe. Great. When someone is in awe, they're taken back. They're just like, Wow, that was really nice. That was really cool. <laughs> After a fun field trip, Steve cherished the memories made with his family in Detroit. So it was a trip that Steve would always remember. Well, I hope you have enjoyed today's read and repeat lesson. Feel free to go back and watch again to familiarize yourself with some of the key vocabulary words. Maybe drop a comment. Have you ever been to Detroit or have you ever been to a particular place that was fascinating, iconic, or left you in awe and you have great memories? Let me know down in the comments section. I would love to hear from you. And before I leave, thank you to all of my new subscribers. Welcome to the community. I hope that you share today's lesson with a friend as well as communicate with me in the comment section. Join me on my next lesson. I'll see you then. Have a great day.